Welcome to Sports Plus Passion. I'm your host, Bronna Marks. We have a lot to talk about today. <laughs> Woo! It's a lot going on. So let's start with topic number one. Beginning where we left off last week, first, the major thing that happened was Jerry Jones, the owner of the Cowboys, who I spoke about last time. He told media that if anybody disrespected the flag, aka kneeled, put their fist up, locked an arm, didn't stand for the anthem, things of that nature that have been recently making people very upset, that he would not let them play. It was a threat. If you do something to disrespect the flag, you will not play. Jerry Jones didn't receive much heat for that. This quote that Jerry Jones gave was after the loss to the Packers. Two players actually held their fist up at the end of the anthem. There were two defensive ends, DeMonte Moore and David Irving. This quote also came after the fact that the Vice President of the United States walked out of the Colts versus 49ers game after the 49ers. Now, the 49ers have been kneeling and it was about 20 players that knelt the, the past game. So they haven't really changed much since the NFL did that whole kneeling together situation. But Mike Pence decided to go to the game anyway and decided to walk out and then give a statement on why he walked out. The political side of him walking out has to do with Trump telling him to walk out. That's not something that I'm going to cover, but it is influencing sports. Wait on it. I'll get I'll get to that part. Jerry Jones, he's been the only owner who has been verbal about that, but he hasn't been the only owner to suggest that. The Miami Dolphins owner also said he doesn't want players disrespecting the flag and none, none of them have been kneeling none of them have been locking arms they haven't been doing anything during the national anthem after these jerry jones comments a sportscaster jamel hill who is on espn she hosts sports center at six with her co-host michael smith she got in trouble about a month ago because she called trump a white supremacist on her twitter the white house blew up and demanded jamel hill a sportscaster who has nothing to do with the White House or the political world, they demanded that she be fired. They took the time to come into a conference, a White House conference, when there was a bunch of other things going on in the world. ESPN released a statement that their views don't connect, they don't align, she doesn't represent what ESPN thinks about the president, and she understands and acknowledges that her tweets were out of line, basically. So that was that. She didn't get fired. She didn't get suspended. Two days ago, Jamel Hill, again on her own Twitter, was having a conversation about Jerry Jones's comments and how it is unfair to players to put that burden on them. They want to make people uncomfortable and they have succeeded in that. They want to make people uncomfortable to realize that there are problems that need to be fixed in the United States. But doesn't seem to be connecting with the sports world or the money world, really. Jamel Hill, she went on Twitter, she had a conversation. If people were really mad about Jerry Jones's comments, they would come after his advertisers. That's all she said. ESPN said that they suspended her. Yes, they suspended her for these comments for two weeks from her show. They suspended her because they said that her comments influenced people to boycott the NFL. Now I want you to think about that. Read her tweets, go on her Twitter, they haven't been deleted, and she also came out before she was suspended and said, now I just wanna make things clear, and I'm sure that she knew she was on the fine line with ESPN and their sensitivity. She said, I am not saying to boycott the NFL. She said it, but they suspended her anyway. Do you wonder why they suspended her? Probably because they were already like, on fire because of the last thing that she did and they were like oh no no we can't we can't handle this so we're just going to suspend her i brought up two issues here jerry jones and jamel hill i've also brought up the issue of mike pence even though it's a little bit separate but not really at this point in this stage of america the nfl's player association re released a statement saying that they support the players and their constitutional rights roger goodell also previously said that they had a meeting, their committee or board had a meeting and said that they support their players. They weren't going to tell their players to stand basically or 
punish them for not standing, even though the president of the United States sent m multiple controversial tweets about NFL players standing, not respecting the flag. Just recently, Roger Goodell sent out a note. It's a very long note. It's on a whole bunch of news outlets. Please go read it if you haven't. Basically saying that the NFL as a whole wants to move forward with the national anthem protest. What does moving forward mean? He explained in his letter that the meeting that they had last time, that the one, the one that I just talked about where they said, you know, they support their players and what they want to do as far as protesting and their constitutional rights go. Constitutional rights, let me repeat that, their constitutional rights. He is saying now that they want to move forward. They have come to an agreement that they want to move forward. They're supposed to be having a meeting next Tuesday on what that exactly means moving forward. But he did take the time to say that the national anthem protest has divided players, coaching staff, and fans. Fans bring in what? Money. Revenue. And there has been outbursts from fans. There are videos of people burning their jerseys burning their season tickets. This flag is blinding people. It's not letting people see that there is a problem in America and that it needs to be dealt with. It already says in the NFL manual that players should stand for the anthem, but it doesn't say if they do not stand, this will happen. Now, what is what do all these things link up as? Jerry Jones, Jamel Hill, Roger Goodell, Mike Pence, Trump, what, what does this all equal up to? They're telling people to shut up. They are telling these players and people who want to protest to shut up because you're hurting other things, whether that be money, whether that be political relationships. It's not important because you're, you're hurting all these other relationships. But what's really hurting is African Americans relationship with America. There are two sides to all of these stories. It is your job to pick one. The only two sides are right and wrong. Topic number two. A few days ago, a CBS reporter, Jason LaConfora, went on a CBS show called The NFL Today. He was asked would Colin Kaepernick kneel if he had the opportunity to get back into the NFL. And he said that he would not kneel during the national anthem if given an opportunity to be signed to an NFL team. That he was going to focus on jersey sales and other things that he wanted to do in the community. CBS Sports did not release a statement, an article, anything like that, saying that that's what Colin Kaepernick said. Guess why? Because he didn't say it. But you know what? News outlets, and these are their faults, and my fault also because I was like, this is really what's happening? Well, it's being reported, so it must be true. So I went on my Twitter and, you know, I went off. But that's not fair because there was no evidence. And as a real journalist, I and other people should understand if there's not a quote, if you don't have a real source, a primary source, which is the person actually speaking the words to you, then there is no evidence of this person saying those things. So he said it and people ran with it, including the Associated Press. The highest praised journalistic outlet. Now has La Confora lost his job? Has he been suspended as Jamel Hill has been suspended? No, I don't understand why he violated what he should do. Just as Jamel Hill violated media policy for ESPN. And let me backtrack just a, just a small bit. ESPN said that Jamel Hill violated their social media policy, but they encourage their workers to engage in political or controversial discussions on their social media outlets. So what is it? You want them to talk, but not about certain things, or you want them to talk, or you don't want them to talk? What is it? But anyway, moving forward back to La Confora. Kaepernick's girlfriend came out on her Twitter and said, that's completely false. Kaepernick retweeted it and then tweeted a quote by Winston Churchill. It basically says, a lie will get halfway across the world before the truth has 
the chance to get its pants on. La Confora came onto Twitter and released a few tweeted statements. It was just contradiction everywhere. He interviewed him on Saturday and he was like, well, we never talked about him kneeling. I, I don't know what he would do if, if he was allowed back into the NFL because we never discussed kneeling. But he also said that he assumed that he wouldn't kneel because of previous conversation. Well, what is it? Did you assume? Did you do this on purpose? Did he really just do this by mistake? As a journalist, you are not supposed to falsely report things at all. That's what journalism is about, seeking out the truth. Topic number three. This is the last topic. I have said so much. My heart hurts right now. Cam Newton, he laughed when this reporter, a female reporter asked him about routes. He chuckled to himself and then said, well, it's funny ha, ha, to hear a woman ha, ha, talk about routes. Everybody went crazy. I don't agree with what Cam Newton said. I believe that Cam Newton is actually a pretty good guy leading up to this point. I think what he did was stupid. It was very stupid. Now, it would have been another thing if he would have said, well, that's surprising to hear you talk about routes. But instead, he made a joke of it like it was funny. A woman is not a joke and should never be taken as a joke especially if she's an educated woman. He did come out with a whole video saying that he apologizes. I wish people would get as upset about black people's rights as they did about Cam Newton's sexist comments. That's all I have for today, guys. Remember, what are you gonna do about these situations?